In this lesson, I want to highlight the difference between the lookup function and VLOOKUP. Now, VLOOKUP is useful if you want to look up information on the right side. But the lookup function can look up information on the left or on the right side. So, for instance, let's say if we have the ID number of, let's say, the sales agent, and we want to look up the revenue or the age given a certain ID number. In this case, we can use the VLOOKUP function. So let's start with John's ID number, 14872. So let me change that from a currency value to a general number. Now for the revenue section, let's type in equal VLOOKUP and then we need to select a lookup value. So the lookup value is based on whatever we select in cell C8, which is the ID number. Now, for the table array, you do not want to select the entire thing. If you do this, it's not going to work. So instead, you want to select this portion of the table array, starting from the column with the ID numbers, because we're looking up uh, the we're looking up the revenue and the age based on the ID number. So the first column on the left that's selected has to be the column with the ID number. Now the column index number is going to be the second column out of all that's highlighted. So that's going to be column C, which is column 2. We're not counting column A because it wasn't highlighted. And then we're going to select false for exact match. So as you can see, the revenue for John is 56000 Now, let's say if we did select the entire array. As you can see, it's not going to work. So we can't do that. Let me change this back to B2. Now, the next thing we're going to look up is the age. So let's use the VLOOKUP function again. So our lookup value will still be the information found in cell C8. The table array will be the same, starting with the ID column. Now this time, the column index number is going to be number 3. Because column B is the first column that's selected, C is the second, D is the third. Now we're going to choose false again for exact match. And so we get the age 25. If we change it to ID number 23948, we can see the revenue is updated, it's 42,000, and the age is 29. And let's go ahead and change this to a currency value with no decimal points. Now what about looking up, let's say, the name of the individual? So notice that the name, the column with the name, is to the left of the ID column, which is what we're looking up. Well, we're looking up the name using the ID number, but VLOOKUP won't look up anything to the left. So you need to use the lookup function. Let's say if we try to use VLOOKUP. So our lookup value is still the ID number. If you try to select the entire array, it's not going to work. So the column index number will be the first one because we're looking up the name. And let's use false again. You see it's not going to work. So you don't want to use VLOOKUP if you're looking up something to the left of whatever you're basing your information on. To retrieve data from the left of our reference column, which is the ID column, we need to use the lookup function instead of VLOOKUP. So let's type in equal lookup, and then our lookup value will be whatever is in this cell, cell C8 our lookup vector is going to be, we're looking up the name of the individual, so let's select this column. And the result vector, what we want to get is, actually I take that back, the lookup vector is the ID. Because it's based on what's in cell C8, so we need to choose column B. The result that we're trying to get 
is column A because we're trying to get the name that corresponds to ID number 23948. And so we get Sally. And if we change the ID number, let's say to 27361, you'll see that we'll get Karen. Her revenue is 69,000, age 32. And so that's how you could use the lookup function in Excel. So it's very useful if you want to look up information that is to the left of your reference column, in this case, the ID column. However, you could look up information that is to the right of it as well. For example, let's say if we want to look up uh, Karen's phone number. So we can use the lookup function again. So our lookup value is still the ID number. The lookup vector will be the ID column. And the result vector will be the column with the phone number because we want to get the phone number for Karen. So Karen's phone number is what we see here. Let's make this column wider. So it's 517-429-4719. And so if we change this to 39264, we can see everything uh, will be updated. And so you get 73,000. Arnold's age is 28, and we can see his number is 752, and so forth. Now, there is something that I do want to mention, and I've noticed this in Excel 2016. It's a limitation with the lookup function. And sometimes, if the ID numbers, if they're not in order, or let's say in ascendant order, I've noticed that the lookup function doesn't always work. Let's change this to 138. Four, six. Let's see if it's going to work. So in this case, we have Karen, her revenue of 69000 her age 32, and her phone number. So in that case, it still worked, but let's change Luke from uh, 45893 to 12764. And let's see what happens. So notice that this time it didn't work for Luke. Let's change it to Arnold, 39264. So in this case, it worked. We have his revenue, his age, and his phone number. Let's type in John, 14872. So we have 56,025. His name is not correct, and the number is not correct. So as you can see, if this is not in order, sometimes the lookup function may not work. So let's put it in order. So let's go to home, and then A to Z, so smallest to largest. So now let's see if it's going to work now. So let's start with John's ID number, 12764. So we have his revenue, his age, and his phone number. So that worked. Now let's try Sally's ID number. So her revenue is 42000 age 29 her number is correct and then Karen so revenue 69,000 her age is correct let's try Arnold 23948 so that worked and finally let's try Luke 39264 so we can see his revenue matches up his age matches up and also the phone number so that's basically it for uh, this particular video. So if you're going to use the lookup function based on a certain ID number, I recommend making sure that it's listed in increase in order. Because when doing it, at least when I tried it, I don't have any issues with the lookup function as you have seen in this video. But if the numbers are not in ascendant order, you may uh, get some uh, error uh, when dealing with it. But anytime you need to look up information on the right of your reference column, you could use the VLOOKUP function. But if you want to look up information to the left of a reference column, let's say the ID number, which is our reference column in this example, in that case, you want to use the lookup function. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.